Hello and welcome to Palmar Update. I'm Pratiksha Karkera and we are at the 14th annual GPCA forum here in Dubai and I'm joined by Wim Rolls, the Chief Executive Officer of Bruj PT. Wim, thank you so much for speaking with us and let's start talking about uh, the event. We are here at uh, the 14th annual JIPCA and like always, Buruj has been associated with JIPCA for the longest time now. Uh, we are at uh, the day three of uh, the event. Uh, let's start talking to you about uh, how has been the sentiment uh, in these three days. Well, I mean, GPC is a very important milestone every year for our industry because it brings us all together. All the different players uh, basically on a global basis come together and uh, we can exchange understanding of where we are going, what's happening, what are the key opportunities or challenges in the industry. Sure. And I think that's, that's the main benefit of this. Uh, and also this time, this is very much what uh, the GPC uh, has brought to us, is to have that debate with the different uh, actors in the field and to understand where are we going, what is going on, uh, the challenges. I think that has also been addressed and, and I think we've seen it with a number of speakers. It's all about uh, circular economy. Sure. It's about trade trade barriers uh, which are appearing and which are developing, uh, it's about sustainability and maybe the last one is about talent and that's not only for, uh, I mean it's all these challenges are for the companies globally, not only for Middle Eastern operators, is how do you, how do you get talent because young people uh, are less inclined to study engineering, to study chemistry, uh, but that's the people we need for the future. And, and uh, I think we need to be conscious that we need to mobilize young people to choose uh, science, to use engineering as a study subject so that they, they can take over and can be the generation of the future. Wim, I'm going to pick up on the point of uh, trends and opportunities and uh, how are you as a company you know, overcoming these challenges? Yeah, I mean sustainability has a whole, is a, a number of, of, of areas uh, we have to work on. But I've picked two important ones. One is CO2 emission, uh, which, is, which is a challenge with the global warming. It's a top of the agenda for many discussions where we do uh, and we invest in, in reducing flaring, making our operations less, less energy intensive uh, or more energy efficient. Uh, we control the way we use cooling water. So, so these are all the elements on how we drive sustainability in operations. We drive CO2 emissions in our transport where we work together with our shipping partners to uh, go for more efficient ships which, use, which actually emit less CO2 for the same uh, containers transported. Sure. We take it all the way down the chain up to the customer. So that's the CO2 emissions. Uh, the second one is the plastic waste, which is a, a, a key challenge for our industry. Uh, I think it's very clear that having plastic waste floating around in the ocean or floating around in the desert is not a solution and is not acceptable. So we as an industry, together with all the people in the value chain, so it's not only the polymer producers or the chemical companies, it's the brand owners, it's the retailers, we need to work together on this. We need to work on different solutions uh, that will make recycling easier and that means innovation, monomaterial uh, solutions instead of having different materials in a laminate, uh, we try to have solutions which only contain polyethylene or only polypropylene which makes them much easier to recycle. It's also about reusable solutions or re reusable packaging so where you can use the packaging kind of for refill, you can use it many times and in that respect you significantly reduce the amount of plastic waste ending up in the waste stream or ending up in the, in the landfill or in the ocean. So this is a key area of focus for our marketing and innovation teams to make that happen. Wim, I'm going to leave you with one final question and that is definitely going to be your message to the petrochemical sector. I think the main thing we keep in mind, there are a lot of challenges and we're living in challenging times, but it's up to us to create the future. We should not let others create the future for us. Thank you so much for taking your time. For My pleasure. This was Wim Rules from Buruj talking to us exclusively about Jipka and of course about the petrochemicals industry. Stay tuned for more updates on the plastics and petrochemicals industry. Thank you.